Hello friends and welcome to another new happy learning video. Today we will learn all about the water cycle. Earth, which is the planet we live on, is known as the blue planet because as much as three quarters of the planet's surface is water. And water is so very important because without it there would be no life. Without it, these sweet little otters wouldn't exist. Or these playful bears. Nor this conceited bird. Or even us, the human beings. That is why we must look after it, conserve our water well, and most of all, we must maintain our rivers and oceans clean. Did you know water never stands still, but is in always constant movement? This water movement is what we call water cycle. Now, let's learn more about it. When the sun warms the water on the Earth's surface, it evaporates, converting itself into water vapor. And it begins its incredible journey, flying into the sky, up towards the atmosphere. This first stage of its journey is known as evaporation. When the water converts in vapor, it rises towards the atmosphere, then cools down, transforming itself into cloud. The second stage of its journey is called condensation. Once the water has condensated and turned into a cloud, it continues its amazing journey by being blown by the wind, traveling from one place to another. Clouds are actually tiny little drops of water suspended in the air. But when the clouds grow, they collect more and more water. These water drops then crash into each other and become bigger drops of water. Then, at some point, they will end up falling to the ground in the form of rain or even snow. This stage of the water cycle is called precipitation. The water which falls to the ground, which precipitates in the form of either rain or snow, may land in rivers or even on the ground to then seep through to subterranean currents of water. All this water must continue its long journey, covering vast amount of distances until it finally reaches the sea. When it arrives at the big blue sea, it will once again begin the process. Evaporation, condensation, precipitation. That is why it's called the water cycle, because it forms a never-ending circle. Isn't the water just so incredible? Hello friends! Welcome to a new Happy Learning video. Today, we're going to dive deep underwater with the fish and the dolphins. We're going to see how penguins walk on ice, and how clouds and birds soar through the sky. Today, we're going to learn about the hydrosphere, the wettest layer of planet Earth. The hydrosphere is the total of all the water on our planet, and there's a whole lot of it, because approximately three quarters of the Earth's surface is covered with water. We don't call the Earth the blue planet for no reason. Check it out from the universe. Isn't it beautiful? Water is everywhere and can be found in three states. In a liquid state, like in the seas, lakes, rivers, and underground rivers. In a solid state, in the form of snow or ice, like at the peaks of these mountains, and in a gaseous state, like in the clouds, which soar all over the world and which, when highly concentrated, give us the wonderful rain that waters and gives life to all of nature. All of this water forms the hydrosphere, a super important layer of the earth. Quick fact, did you know that all living beings are made up of water? Yes, it's incredible. 60% of our body is made up of water. More than half our body is water. Ha, we could almost say that we are also part of the hydrosphere. <laughs> but, do you know how water came to Earth? It all started four billion years ago, when our planet 
was a huge super hot ball and a bunch of comets and asteroids loaded with ice crashed into it as it was very hot. The ice from these comets and asteroids evaporated quickly, forming the first clouds. And these clouds travelled all over the planet, dropping water in the form of rain. And so, little by little, the Earth cooled down and was filled with water. Part of this water accumulated in different parts of the Earth and dissolved the mineral salts of the surface, forming the primitive seas. And it was there, in those seas, where life, wonderful life, arose. We all know that there is fresh and salty water. But did you know that 97% of the hydrosphere is composed of salt water? Yes, only 3% of the water that exists can be drunk. Only 3% of all water accounts for fresh water. <laughs> there is something very important and super interesting that you should know. The water on our planet is always the same. The water we drink or bathe in is the same water brought by those comets and asteroids. It is the same water that the dinosaurs drank. Isn't that just incredible? Water changes state and is always travelling in the super famous and endless journey that we call the water cycle. But remember, the amount of water never, ever, ever changes. And what does this mean then? Well, it means that we have to take care of it. Because of pollution, the water of the seas and rivers is getting dirtier and dirtier. And many living beings are dying because of it. That is why, from happy learning, that we insist so much on the need to take care of water. Without it, life would be impossible. If we learn to appreciate it and take care of it, we will always be able to enjoy it. And our hydrosphere and all the living beings in the world will be very grateful. Goodbye, friends. See you in the next video.